Hello friends and fam of YouTube land. Welcome back to another video in the Beat Up BMW Adventure Series. I'm your host Trevor and we've got a little bit of catching up to do. So to start we had to close up our cabin for the winter which means I needed to get back on the road and start making my way to Washington. Now these clips are from the Chicken Creek Trailhead where I set up camp for the night. Uh, easy day's ride from Platoro. It was like 200 and 20, 230 miles, and looking at this map, you might be wondering, Trevor, why did you go from A to B to C and not just A to C? Well, this is why. Oh no, oh no. If you believe what Google Maps has to say, uh, you're going to save an hour going over Elwood Pass. And I'll tell you what, it is a Jeep 4x4 road, and you're not going to save an hour and a half going that way. Uh, you're going to drop your bike about half a dozen times. So we went the long way uh, through Chama, New Mexico, and then back up to Pagosa Springs, which brings us to Mancos. This is north of Mesa Verde National Park. Fun fact, my grandma grew up in Mesa Verde National Park. She spent the first seven years of her life living there. Her, her dad was the superintendent of the park, and she's got a lot of cool stories growing up in this area. And yeah, beautiful scenery. Unfortunately, as we move out of Colorado and into Utah, uh, we're leaving the forests and the mountains behind and heading for the desert. Now, I was hoping to get my drone to follow me out of my campsite, back to the trailhead here at Chicken Creek, but yeah, the drone follow function does not work super great with a motorcycle. I don't know if it's the color of my motorcycle to the landscape, but it just doesn't want to stay locked onto me most of the time, so... Didn't get the fall function to work, but here's the quick ride back out to the road, making our way back to Mancos and heading to the highway so we can start working our way into Utah. Scenery changes pretty significantly going from Colorado into Utah. Now, it's definitely beautiful in its own right, but I gotta say, the desert is not the place for me. I prefer the mountains, I prefer it to be a little bit cooler, and you know what, if it rains every once in a while, I'm totally okay with that. That being said, there are tons of these amazing rock formations all throughout Utah, especially going into Moab, Spanish Valley, and yeah, worth doing a little stopping, sightseeing. Side note, the Aerostitch one-piece suit, 
does overall pretty good in the heat as long as you're moving. If you stop moving, you're going to start cooking and uh, yeah, I don't do a ton of sightseeing in the desert because I don't like cooking. Heading northwest through Utah brings us into Moab, where I made a quick stop for lunch. Side note, Wendy's is my favorite fast food place, hands down. That biggie bag deal, best deal there is for fast food. After fueling up, getting back on the road, thought about making a quick stop at Arches National Park, but Unfortunately, you need to have a reservation in advance in order to drive through the park. I'm sure it gets pretty busy this time of year, so just get a little bit of GoPro footage passing by. Once again, the desert out here is beautiful, but sightseeing in 90 plus degrees without AC to go back to, not my favorite. As much as I have been hating on the heat of the desert, Utah is home to my favorite camp spot of the entire trip. About 45 minutes northwest of Moab, you get to the city of Green River. And then if you follow the Green River up about 10, 15 more miles, eventually you'll get to Schwaze's Beach. Great name, even better scenery. Man, I can't get over how amazing this camp spot was. Only downside, bugs. There was a lot of gnats, a lot of gnats. And they just love to get in your eyes and ears and mouth and everywhere they can. That being said, the Green River is a little more brown than green, but it's cold enough for a camp bath slash shower and totally worth the drive to come check this place out. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're 
you're not already, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Do me a favor, drop a like on the video. It really helps out. And I'll see you in the next one.